Today, we are delivering on that promise. It takes off and lands vertically. It's fully electric. What's happening, guys? And welcome back to our channel. Flying cars may seem somewhat revolutionary and futuristic, but they're already here, from commercial jetpacks to personal air taxis. In reality, flying cars exist, and they have the potential to change the way we commute, work, and live in the coming decades. Here are seven real flying cars that can actually fly. Number seven, PAL V1. The PAL V1, a three-wheel vehicle that doubles as a two-seat gyrocopter, has joined the short list of potential presents for the man who has everything. The bullet-shaped PAL V is the newest effort to breed a legendary mod, the flying car. As is customary, liberty doesn't come cheap. The PAL V1 costs $395,000. You could fly a new Cessna 172 single-engine plane or drive a Lamborghini Aventador for that number. The PAL V, on the other hand, will do both. Number 6. Terra Fugia Transition The Terra Fugia Transition has four wheels, folding wings, and a propeller in the back. It has a flight range of 400 miles and can fly 100 miles per hour at altitudes up to 9,000 feet. Both flying and driving have controls. On the ground, there are traditional brake and accelerator pedals as well as a steering wheel. The vehicle will go on sale in the United States next year for an estimated $400,000. Number 5. The Maverick The Maverick is a dune buggy that also has a powered parachute. It will accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.9 seconds and reach a maximum speed of 90 miles per hour thanks to a Subaru EJ22 engine. iTech, a Florida-based corporation, wants to market it to recreational users as well as fly medical supplies to struggling African countries. The FAA has listed it as an experimental plane, though the corporation wants to see it classified as a light sport aircraft. Number 4. Aeromobile 3.0 Aeromobile was designed to blend in with existing road networks and its size is similar to that of a limousine or a big luxury sedan. It has low operating costs and can be parked in standard city parking spaces. It can run up to 4 hours and has a maximum speed of 124 miles per hour. It runs on natural gasoline rather than kerosene and can be refueled at any gas station possible. No pilot's license is required to fly the vehicle. Aeromobile reports that it is very stable and easy to operate. Number 3. Ehang 184 Ehang, a Chinese corporation, has created the world's first electric-powered autonomous aerial vehicle, or AAV, dubbed the 184. To create the 184 AAV and formulate rules for the future of transportation, Ehang intends to collaborate closely with government agencies around the world. At the bottom of the vehicle is the control battery, which consists of four guns and eight propellers. It has a total span of 18 feet, 5.5 meters when completely extended. This is the world's first electric passenger. Number 2. Lilium Jet The Lilium Jet has a range of 155 miles and a planned cruising speed of 175 miles per hour at 10,000 feet. It's the culmination of five years of technological advancement through four generations of technology demonstrators, according to the organization. Lilium is also in early talks with core infrastructure partners to develop a network of 10 vertiports around Europe. Up to 14 vertical ports are already planned in Florida, and the organization has received investments worth about $200 million from infrastructure partners. Today, we are delivering on that promise. It takes off and lands vertically. It's fully electric. Number 1. 
Terra Fujia TFX. Terra Fujia's TFX concept car incorporates plug-in hybrid technology, autonomous driving, and vertical takeoff and landing capabilities. The automobile works like any other electric car when driving, but it takes off like a helicopter when flying. To take off, it uses two small propeller engines that achieve speeds of up to 200 miles per hour. It's available for pre-order for 180,000 pounds and will be available for purchase for the next eight years. The firm is yet to release a real-life prototype of the car and only 20 members on the team are qualified to drive it. Do let us know which of these automobile concepts you're looking to afford going forward in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and wish to see more of it in the future, then do show us your appreciation by hitting that like button, subscribing to our channel, and also pressing that bell icon. And with that, I'll catch you guys later in another video. Bye now!